Hi, and welcome to the New Leaf Wellness Podcast. My name's KP. And I'm Air. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีครับ How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm really good, thanks. It's been a while. It's been a while, but now it's on number 11. Yeah, podcast number 11, the wellness podcast number 11. And today we're going to be talking about fitness camps versus dedicated detox weight loss camps. Yes. Your experience is both in in pretty much both, really, as being an athlete. Yes, you, I understand. I have a nutrition background and a detox specialist, and also exercise all my life. So I know the balance mm. between both worlds. I really like them both, actually, and I think they both serve a purpose. Uh, depending on where you're at with your wellness, your health, and more than anything, weight. Yes. Body weight is. Absolutely crucial, and I know a lot of people are talking about fitness camps to lose weight. Yes, but in my opinion, as someone who's been an athlete pretty much all my life, you've really got to try and get as much weight off first before you go to a fitness That, camp. That's right. And to try and have some sort of base. Yes. If you come from zero and go go to one of these fitness camps, you can be in all sorts of problems. Exactly, because you're not ready. Your body not ready. And you know, when you think about weight loss, you Get motivated at first, right? You just right. you throw yourself into it, yeah. but then you haven't done exercise for years and years and years, and the body is a lot heavier than they're capable to do many many sports. You end up get injured most mm. of the time. A lot of people. Yeah, I drive down the road here on Koh Samui. There's a few camps around, like dedicated camps. The difference between a detox resort and a fitness camp is the fitness camp. Almost always comes from the a gym. gym. Yeah, right? they start with the gym, then they extend it further with added accommodation and the restaurants. Yeah, so they try to accommodate people. It's like, okay, you know, you stay here. We have the class run all day, and you can participate in this class and that class up to you, and you can eat what they provide you there. But then you have to make a choice. Right, you just have to make a choice because it's not really a set plan, a program in terms of eating. A lot of time, you have to be responsible, responsible for yourself still in terms of eating, because you have to go in restaurant and order the food. That could be a problem for a lot of people. That could be a problem because the reason why you have a weight issue because you don't make the right choices when it comes down to food. We recently had a guest come from a fitness camp. Yes. To the detox. Yes, and yeah, she asked me the question like. So, I said, s o m do the camp here in, in Phuket, and they teach everyone. They basically they do the calculation for all the guests, like how much do you weigh? So you will need this many calories a day, or so you weigh this much, you will need this many calories a day, and so on and so on. So, so say for example, you need 1,500 c a l o r i e s You can eat anything. That's like what they said. The people who are supposed to be run the place and. Uh, So, want to be a, an expert, so you can eat anything as long as it's under that 1,500 calories. Yeah. So she said, like, oh, people eating uh, pancakes and waffles and whatnot. Yeah. But it's not like that, you know. That's why people who, who get into the gym, nothing wrong with that. But if you don't change the way you eat, as we know that 80% nutrition and 20% exercise, they end up put a, the weight back on because you just think. You can just out train the bad nutrition. You just can eat anything you, you want, and then you're gonna train to burn those calories. But it doesn't work like that because the minute you stop exercise, what happens? You continue to eat like that, and you got gonna put a weight back on straight away because you don't know that okay, you have to adjust the way you eat. You can't out train bad nutrition, right? Exactly because those those things we have to talk about, it, pancakes or all those stuff, it contain a lot of Process fats mm. and God know what it is, you know, trans fat and sugar and everything like that. And you don't want to put more stress in the body. You know, as you train, you already stress the body. And whatever you eat should complement, should enhance the process to heal from the inside. Not that eat anything and then go train on top of that. You know, when you're in your twenties, you, you you would not have an issue. That what that the beauty about being you have youth on your side. You bounce back very fast, but when you're 30, it starts slow down. In 40, you slow down again. So the approach should be more about if you want to have 
you have the weight in your mind when you lose the weight. The detox resort option is more suitable for you. It's safer, more gentle for your body and less stress to the body because it's, we use a holistic approach. Not about exercise, not about training hard. It's about train smart, right? Because in, in the, in the um, fitness camps, usually they have the schedule and people with all sorts of level of fitness mm. do exact same class together. Yeah. And imagine you have 30 kilos, you are 30 kilo overweight and haven't done exercise for years. Your knee. Your knees, your joints. Your joints, yeah. you're going to get hurt. Mm. And then you, you might sign up for two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, and you probably like get hurt. Yeah. And you end up cannot do much about it's it. Blisters too. People get blisters as well. Like they bring brand new shoes it's, and they get blisters. Yeah, it, it's fitness camp is great. But for me, you you should not have a lot of weight as your issue. You should be someone already fit and might it like uh, be so busy. You know, not only really maybe gain a few kilos, but it's they're not as fit they used to be. They want to get back to the where they they used to be. So this is an answer, you know, to tone your body, you know, lose some weight and build the muscle, build the stamina, you know, get fitter. But in terms of weight loss, again, people who have to, to come to weight loss in mind, the detox we use, like when, they, when we talk about train, training smart, how we do it with morning walk. Morning walk is a great way of exercise, really. We could do that when you walk you're in the fat burning zone. So you actually get to burn, draw out the fat that's stored in the body, which is very hard. Then when you go start running or training hard, you're in the cardio mode, right? You're not in the fat burning zone. So you most of the time, you just burn what you eat for the day. Stress the body. Yes, yeah, stress the body. So by doing the morning walk, you get to burn the fat that's stored in the body. So it's great. So fitness camps, really, they, they talk about 80% Exercise and 20% nutrition. Yeah, exactly. Whereas detox, weight loss. In the other way around. Yeah, it's eight, and it always is. Yes. It's always 80% nutrition and 20% training. And basically, you want to be able to maintain your weight even just by walking around doing a regular day without going to the gym. Exactly. Essentially, that's, that's kind of how we're built. Exactly. We're meant to be built. Exactly. But because of the processed foods, the amount of calories that we eat. And the lifestyle in today's world as well. People sit behind yeah. the desk. Most of the time, they're not yeah. as active. Mm. Yeah. So if you haven't exercised for a couple years and you have more than 20 kilos. Or 10, yeah, even. 10, 10, 10, 10 kilos. You should, really. you should come to the, the detox resort first to just get those excess weight, waste yeah, in your body. Waste the, the waste in the body. Water and... Yeah. Slowly build your body up to it because right. not only we do the morning walk, we do aqua aerobics, which is in the water. So it's perfect for yeah. all condition, and you get to burn so many calories. Yeah, in one hour you can burn to four to five hundred calories, depend how much you weigh, which yeah. is awesome. And you have fun in the process. Okay, yeah. let's get to some fundamentals. Yeah, okay, at a fitness camp, you will be doing classes probably two or three a day yep. with a group of people doing the same thing. Exact same thing. The coach or coaches may have some sort of nutritional background, probably not. They're very good trainers. For sure. They don't know really how to train people on a calorie deficit, which is a detox training, which is completely separate. They'll tell you to go out and eat. Some of them provide meal plans, which is a, a good thing. But you really need to be 10 kilos or under. Yeah. And also have some sort of fitness. So you must be going to the gym before you come to your fitness camp. Have some sort of base. Yeah. Have worn shoes. Two pairs. Rotate the shoes. Use tread on the shoes. You'll be doing outside training, inside training, all sorts of terrain. Yes. So you really want to have comfortable, worn shoes. There are differences between detox resorts. Yes. Not all detox resorts are the same. Yes, exactly. You know, like you said, New Leaf has a, uh, an exercise activities yes. schedule through we the We incorporate the exercise into it. We are probably one and very few in the world that incorporate this many exercise and movement throughout the day. Right. And exercise and movement that all fitness level can do and you actually burn 
you know, good calories. Not that like you do a gentle class and you just feel like you don't get anything from it. It's not like that. So most of the detox results will not really recommend you do the exercise. Yeah, they just tell you, they, they might have a little bit of walk or a little bit of yoga and that's about it. Most of the time they tell you to relax as part of the detox process. But for us, you different approach, not about the detox. People want to lose weight in the same process. So we have this uh, well thought out and we'll calculate throughout the day in terms of nutrition, what to give you juice, smoothie and soup. And we, we serve proper side glass of juice. Right. Yeah and proper filling smoothie and hearty, hearty soup that you actually get. So you remember you have to eat to lose weight. You cannot starve yourself. So you're talking about around 700 calories a day? Yeah, seven to 750, you okay. know, depend on, the, on, depend on the soup, the lighter soup, the thicker soup. Proceeding a longer walk, you'll have a soup that- The night before. Okay, so it might be- Pumpkin soup, a sweet potato- carbohydrate to Sweet okay. potato soup, you know, okay. these type of uh, carb, it ignite the fat and it can help you burn and help you be able to do exercise longer. The great thing about the internet is there's so much information out there, which is also the bad thing about the internet. Yes. Um, there's going to be conflicting people believing or watching this or listening to this thinking, no, that's not right. But we're here to tell you that not all calories are born equal. They just simply aren't. So when you hear someone say, oh, it's calories in and calories out, that is BS, right? Think like this. You might be able to eat a piece of small steak. It could be 700 calories too. Right. It's the same with a juice, smoothie, and soup. However, how long do you think it takes to before yeah. this, can, you can get it? Actually, you know? The benefit. The benefit from the, the, from, from, the, okay. from the steak. It you could get. take 10 to 12 hours before we come an energy. Yeah. It's different when you have juice. But the body hardly has to break anything down. You go in and instantly become fuel in the body and the body they can use straight away. What about the people that talk about fructose? Oh, there's too much sugar in fruit juices and all that. That is true in a small level. You know, you don't, you don't have like, you ha not, don't have fruit on top of the meal. Right. Yeah, you don't, you don't have snack on fruit all day and not exercise either. Of course it contains sugar, it, but it, Again, not all sugar is the fructose, same. Right? It's fructose, yeah. and the body burns straight away. Yeah. We have a green program to support people who have certain health issues, like can be um, quite strong case of diabetes and things like that. Okay. But a lot of time, you have this smoothie, you burn it within two hours or less. If you go for a walk and you are aqua aerobic, it's all gone. You need you use straight away and more. Mm. So you're sort of igniting the body fat, exactly. store body fat. So you cannot just have like, for example, plain green juice and expect to walk 12 kilometers. You're not, not enough fuel for you. Okay, so the fundamentals of a dedicated detox, weight loss resort that has scheduled activities is that you're gonna get calorie reduced diet yes. in a soft food, like juices, soups, smoothies, supplements, teas. And when you train there, the trainers understand training someone who's calorie deficit. It's not the same as going to a gym class. Yeah. I mean, I've actually been detoxing and then gone and done a CrossFit class and it's just smashed me for the rest of the day. And I, I was lucky to actually get through the class, to be honest with you. Um, so there is a difference the way we train people in a detox. So if you're doing a PT at New Leaf, for yes. instance, you're resting a bit more than you would be at the gym. That's right. And, and a lot of time the people because we, we all are the guests. We have one program, right? People eat pretty much the same thing on the same nutrients. So the class is pretty much in very similar level, mm. right? Not like people need to eat more, that person eat okay. less and things like mean, that. As far as burning. As far as okay. burning. Right. And a lot of time, you know, you're in pretty much the same, similar level. So the training not an issue. There's a sports package now at New Leaf, which contains you know, besides the personal training and a few other activities, it has some plant-based protein. That's right. We have a plant-based protein that people can supplement on top of what we want to do. Recently, we have a guest from the UK, 32 years old, and he, he was exercising all the time. But this is a lot of people, a lot of people issue it as well. When you just eat whatever you want to eat 
and you exercise very, very hard, what happened? He had this become such a bulky, like build the uh, muscle yeah. on top yeah. of the fat in the yeah. body. And the more you had to do it, you get bulkier. Yeah. You didn't get to lose the fat in the body. So yeah. to build muscle in the same time. Yeah. So it's just a long process to get rid of the fat. If you mm. continue to eat the same way you eat and take the whey protein yeah. throughout the day. You, you see that all the time, right? You, yeah. see, you see bulky, really bulky. Even, even myself, I can get a bit, bit bulky as well. If I have too much protein and I go to the gym, exactly. I build this muscle over the top of body fat. And whey protein, it give different effect as well. It's a bulk you up instead, instead of like supplement the protein that you actually need right. to heal and do the maintenance. Yeah. The whey protein, it actually hammer the body and it's a different process. Mm. So he come and he be able to on our diet, the way we give you juice, smoothie and soup and he supplement the protein three to four times per day. So look, we were to do a big walk every day in the morning aqua aerobics, swim a couple of kilometers a day, and do private boxing most days. So he he been uh, recorded on his watch, and he burned about four to 5,000 calories on top of that, and he felt amazing. That's a lot of calories, though. That's, that's a lot of calories to burn. Yeah, he, and he feel amazing. He feel great. He said he exercised all his life, but he never feel this good. And he lost 13 kilos in two weeks, in 14 days. Oh, wow. So, so he was quite. He had, he had it to lose. Obviously. He has it to lose. He okay. has it to lose. Think about it, someone that fit wow. to be able to do that, ex, that no, amount no, of exercise. exercise. I think that a really good way of doing it. If you've got a base and you're you're a pretty you know a reasonable sort of health person. Yeah, exactly. And you have a base. You, yeah, and you you have to done exercise before. So you can actually do you know do a couple of weeks at a detox resort, get rid of the excess fluid and waste, get a base. And then go and do a couple of weeks at a, a fitness camp if you have the time. Yes. If you're coming straight off no exercise and you go to a fitness camp, you're not going to get. Firstly, you're not going to get the results that you, you'd get at a detox resort. Secondly, you could get injured. That's right. And that could put you out for you know for a long time. And and a detox resort are more different is because a detox resort, right? You get to do liver flushes. Yeah. You know, people who have weight issue. Most of the time, you definitely have fatty liver or right. have fat in the liver. Okay. So you can just try to train and train to get the fat out, but still, it's, it's still if you continue to eat, the body not gonna heal, the liver not gonna lose the fat itself. When a detox process, liver flush and everything help allow the liver to regenerate, heal from the inside, reduce all the fat, and you will lose the weight then. So have a base, have some good shoes, a couple of pairs of shoes with some grips, like some trail running shoes, that because you're going to be working on different terrain. That's if you're going to a fitness. Have a watch, heart rate monitor, check your food, try and have some sort of meal plan. Yes. If you're coming to a detox, same with the shoes too, right? Same with the shoes. You, you, you need to rotate. Wear them a month before you come. Yeah. W w break them in, wear them in. Good, comfortable clothing. Uh, and just have a positive attitude too. Exactly. Embrace it, the yeah. program. The yeah. thing is, you just have to be open-minded. You know, you already make a decision. You want change in your life. That's why you're yeah. looking for this kind of thing, fitness camp or detox resort. And another thing, like, what happened with detox resort, that may be the thought of... No, no food. No food. food. Ah, yeah, that, can it scare a few people away, yeah, a lot of people right. away. It's not like that. We're no, not at the not. place that, like, yeah. if you water down juices, small glass, and like that. Yeah, yeah. We manage your hunger. You won't feel hungry with us. And it, it, it shuts a, a short process to the benefit you gain mm -hmm. in a matter of short period of time. It's amazing. Mm. It's unbelievable. And what about the take home from that? For when you leave a resort, fitness camp resort or a detox, you, you really want to go back to some sort of structured program. You That's don't want right. to kill yourself when you go home. Exactly. Because you just have to think about it already. If you mm. go to fitness camp, you do three, four classes a day. When you go back to the real world, you're not going to be able to do that. Yeah. Right, but then you can just pick up what you learn. For example, you always think about add good stuff first, right? You just add, like for example, you have a big green smoothie for breakfast, right. add some psyllium husk, go to the morning walk, that kind of thing. That's something that doable mm. that you can carry on when you get back home. What if someone's got one week or two weeks? That's all they, they've got. Again, you have to think about the goal, what right. you want. Okay. If you want to get 
if you know that you stress, you have weight to lose, and you want to don't think about anything, then detox resort is the answer for you. Because right. what happens if you have to think, you won't do it. Yeah. It's, it's, it, a lot of people don't have the luxury of time. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Everything being structured for you. So at a detox resort, everything is structured for you. Yeah. You don't have to think about food, activity, what to eat, nothing. Treatments. Treatment, all, everything is in a program. Well, that's great. Thanks for that. I really appreciate that. We've been getting quite a few people asking us about the difference between fitness camps, detox, but the detox has more internal treatments that can really assist with exactly. the overall weight. Basically, loss, right? you get to lose the weight, detox yeah. the body, rejuvenate the body, yeah. healing and maintain from the inside. It is what you're looking for to de-stress as well. A lot of people talk about losing muscle mass by coming to a detox. It's rubbish, right? Yeah. In yeah. Losing muscle mass, the muscle depletion, it happened in a coma state where you don't move your body at all. It's impossible that you're going to lose the muscle why are you with us? Because you, you move the body to mm. start. You do a lot of walking, aerobic training, yoga yeah. and things, you know. So that's not going to happen. Don't have to worry about that at all. If you'd like to subscribe to us, you can find us at New Leaf Wellness Podcast on Instagram, Facebook, Facebook uh, any of the podcasting platforms. And today we've been talking about fitness camps versus detox weight loss resorts. Interesting. Thank you very much for that. Very, in very interesting. And did you still not sure, you know, which one is good for you? Right. Or what is suitable for you? Feel free to contact us and we will give you a free consultation. Sounds great. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.